Welcome back everybody, this is Easy for Easy Street Gaming. Bring you part 11 from the Partner Guide. This is the second edition of the Lonely Warrior. The first one we did was on uh, Saya. This one is on Thera. And a huge difference between these two. If you've been playing for any amount of time, you know that Thera is definitely the hardest by far. Um, we're going to go back to the Keep It Simple. The biggest problem that we all have with Thera is that we don't watch the replays. As soon as you watch the replays, you realize that it's not just Thera that you have to deal with. It's Thera plus four green archer girls or the, the green um, sharpshooters. That's the biggest problem that everyone has with it. Um, not only does she do massive group damage, but a lot of people will put in single target heroes against her. And even if they're six star strong single target uh, attackers, they have to knock out four individual uh, archer girls. So for your team foundation, if you're, if you're fighting a level one, you, you can put in five star heroes. That'll be okay. For a level two, you really need the six star heroes. And try to avoid five single target attackers. Uh, a, a good starter will be the the green demon killer I know that you see the right you, you see red Thera so automatically you're gonna put in an all blue team the problem is that that the dev team was smart and they put in four green archer girls so they will beat up all your blue heroes so make sure you have at least one all party attacker and if you have a high level uh, green demon killer he'll do the earthquake attack he'll do that stomp and he'll kill all the archer girls uh, it's very important that you manage the archer girls if not that this is why you can't send in just three three you know it has a you only need a thousand damage left on her and you send in three of your heroes and you need to get zero well the reason is the archer girls kill you so we'll, we'll go into the best attackers now this is kind of the best attacker is the blue nomad he's the strongest hero in the game um, now these top hundred top tens that you see on the left side of the screen this comes from the ser server 323 three. And so it could be different on your server if you have an older server You may have a lot more people that have big heroes and you may see a, a little less of the four star heroes uh, scoring in the top t top hundred uh, But the the blue nomad was number one number two was red nomad number three in, in, in our server was the the red demon killer number four and this kind of surprised me with 15 uh, 15 spots in the top hundred was the blue demon killer and I think that's just the color difference where you have the blue attacking the, the red and once the green archer girls went down then then the blue nomad killer just hammered them I think the reason that uh, the blue dagger wasn't higher on our list is not because he's not one of the better attackers it's just because not as many people have got him so far you know we have we do have uh, I think a 200 million player on our server already but there are servers that have mil billion uh, power players uh, an excellent an excellent partner both these partners are excellent the the blue boar and the blue black shaman they both both do group damage and they can both take out all the archer girls and they do high damage versus Thera because they are blue and they're fighting against the red so those are both two excellent uh, attackers and uh, now the red double blade girl another great attacker now remember you don't get any of the stuns or the sleeps or anything like that you can uh, there's a boss so you don't get any of the, the extra bonuses because she's a it's a boss level type attack so just remember that uh, if you're putting in certain uh, characters that you're depending on their stone or you're depending on sleep or you're depending on something that it just won't happen because she's a boss where it may happen if you were just fighting uh, her against another player so to make this video what I had to do is I, I really tried to study a few different attacks that we had because one of them we took her down in one shot and the second one we used a similar team just a little different and yet we got half damage on her compared to the first team so I, I wanted to really try to break it down and see why we had uh, such a different level of performances for the two teams and what I noticed was on the first team we had a level 40 blue berserker and what that meant was he had all of his abilities were maxed out um, it, this was this happened to be my blue berserker he's got like 22,000 bonus hit points so he's got a ton of hit points which means that he heals at 6,000 plus every time he does his heal which is uh, which is CD which means how many rounds he has to wait before he can do it again is three now 
that I believe was the difference between this attack which we took Thera down in one attack and the next um, now, some of it is luck because if you have the it, now, what happened here was the red nomad took her, took her out and did 253,000 damage so huge amounts of damage um, and now in the next attack which we're gonna start right now I believe he did 60,000 damage so same now it's the same hero same exact hero uh, what I did was uh, you can use two heroes per um, server day so once you use one you know you can go back into this into that screen and and uh, reuse them again I forget the name I suck. Uh, but anyway here's the attack where same attack now you see there there is a different lineup we have the the blue god of earth instead of the uh, the red uh, and that's another thing we had another healer which we don't in this attack we have the, the blue god of earth instead of the, the red guitarist so that did play into it but we also had the blue uh, double blade girl who also does that tornado whirlwind attack thing where she can attack all the whole party the blue uh, god of earth also attacks the whole party so we were thinking that that would compensate for the lack of the red guitarist but what we did not consider was that the, the five star level 35 blue berserker didn't have the abilities maxed out yet so his CD was five on the on the heel not three and his total hit points was much less than the first one so when he was healing he was only healing at like 2,000 so instead of getting 6,000 hit points back every few rounds okay so we got I just looked at as 3,700 so I mean that's not terrible but it's half as much as the first uh, blue berserker and he's waiting two extra rounds so he didn't get enough uh, rotations in. he wasn't able to heal enough times to keep everyone alive so in this case the red the red nomad does 60,000 damage and instead of 250,000 damage like the first and now there is some luck involved as well uh, if the rotation just happens to be where uh, the 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 red nomad was to catch the uh, the red god of earth before uh, she put up someone for protection she has a lot of different uh, buffs that she uses to, to put up shields and, and I don't know the names of it all because I do suck but uh <laughs> she was able to protect herself much better we weren't able to protect ourselves and instead of getting 440,000 damage we got 200 something thousand damage which is half damage now because just due to the length of the videos um, and I don't uh, you know this is a 10 minute video I try to keep them around six or seven minutes so we we're already going long I didn't show the last two or three attacks on Thero now we did two attacks on her this one did 210,000 damage the next one almost polishes her off but doesn't quite so then the last two or three attacks on her were sent by people that have not been watching the replays my point is watch the replays they didn't realize that they had four archer girls and they were protecting her and they sent three heroes in they were all single target damage and they wouldn't get through the four archer girls before they got to Thera and they none of them scored any damage at all so even though there's only 2,000 hit points left on her or health points whatever it is uh, they could not kill her so now if you're wondering uh, which heroes you want to use these are the support heroes that work best against her you'll notice that most of them are healers or uh, the rejuvenation heroes uh, which many of them are similar to in the last video where you have Jello who's a, who's a newer hero you had the Berserker you had um, the Green Thera you, uh, you have uh, some of these support heroes that they're just really even though they're off color they're still very strong healers uh, Red Guitarist another very strong healer the for the format for beating all of the Lonely Warriors is to have one or two great attackers and then the rest healers um, here's the green catfish hunter again or fight catfish fighter and he does a shield after every attack very formidable uh, team member so you you want to uh, going back to keeping it simple uh, here's the red drummer same thing p puts up a shield uh, by keeping it simple you want to use the same type of format formation two big attackers three healers but in this case one of your big attackers has to be a multi a multi-party attacker uh, Red Thera is actually another great uh, troop to use against Thera because she's a she's one of the big attackers. Blue is as well, so they're both great great support. I would suggest, if possible, use your Green Demon Killer as a lead, and then uh, if you can use uh, the the Blue Nomad. Of course, everyone would like to use Blue, blue Nomad, but there's a lot of, of big blue attackers that you can use. 
even the ones you wouldn't think of like the blue uh, demon killer or, or uh, the blue uh, archer girl they're all really good against her but make sure you get those three healers in there hopefully this helps somebody I know how difficult Thera is but keep keep going at her remember sit, don't don't fight her with four and five stars if she's a level two you're not gonna beat her make sure you get those uh, the six stars against the level two use the high level five stars against the level one keep fighting her I keep talking inside the actual uh, screen uh, and talk it out get your team members right so hopefully this helps somebody till next time it's been easy take care everybody Yeah.